Hello, welcome to our service of morning prayer for Monday the 16th of November 2020. Uh, for this service uh, you'll need your own copy of the Bible uh, and if you're watching me on video then you'll also need the video remote so that you can pause me from time to time because the purpose of the service is that each of us can listen to God ourselves in the privacy of our own thoughts. Uh, but I must say to you that I think that this week is perhaps the most difficult week in the whole cycle of morning prayer uh, in the lectionary. We're in the middle of looking at the books of Daniel and Revelation, uh, and we're in the heavily apocalyptic parts of both of those lit pieces of literature, and it is hard going. But nevertheless, uh, we're going to plough on. Uh, let's ask God into our hearts by his Holy Spirit and onto our lips at the outset of our worship today. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. The opening canticle is Psalm 42, verses 1 to 7, uh, a psalm that expresses our longing and our desire for God. Uh, let's express that to him in this song. As the deer pants for streams, so my soul thirsts for you, O Lord. When shall I meet my God? When my eyes fill with tears, when my ears hear these cruel words, where is the Lord your God? Lord, I remember how in days now long gone, I would be worshipping in joyful song. You are my saviour and my hope, O God, you will comfort and renew my soul. When my heart is cast down and the storm force is daunting me, when shall I meet my God? In the streets of my town, with my foes shouting, taunting me, where is the Lord your God? Lord, you are with me in the darkness of night. Your song within me helps my spirit fight. You are my saviour and my hope, O oh God. You will comfort and renew my soul. Captured and bound by the jeers of my enemy, when shall I meet my God? When I feel like I'm drowned and there rings in my memory, where is the Lord your God? Send your enlightenment and truth as a guide, bring me to where you live so I may hide. You are my saviour and my hope, O oh God, you will comfort and renew my soul. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Psalms which are set today are Psalms 46 and 47. God is our refuge and strength, and uh, clap your hands, all peoples. Uh, let's rejoice in the Lord. Uh, here's a metrical version of one of them.
and you might like to pause the video and reflect on those two psalms uh, in the quiet of your own home. Our Old Testament reading is the book of Daniel chapter 8 verses 1 to 14. Uh, the second of the four visions in Daniel chapters 7 to the end, which are in chapters 7, 8, 9, and then 10 to 12 is all one. Uh, and this is the first part of that vision. Please pause the video and read that in your own Bible. You might like to respond to the Old Testament reading with the canticle from Isaiah chapter 43 verses 15 to 21. I am God, your Holy One. The New Testament reading is Revelation chapter 10 uh, and it's the pause between the sixth and the seventh trumpet. Uh, it's the angel who announces the pause, saying uh, there is uh, no further delay to be. Uh, I have found uh, Michael Wilcox's book, uh, I Saw Heaven Opened, uh, very helpful uh, in trying to uh, fathom these chapters of Revelation. And he points out that it isn't that God runs out of patience with man, uh, rather it is that man uh, runs out of the ability to repent. Uh, after a certain point. Anyway, please pause the video and read those chapters, uh, the, read that chapter yourself. A way of responding to the New Testament reading uh, is the canticle Benedictus, and here's a sung version of that canticle. And so let us turn to God, let's ask him to speak to us by his word, and let's speak to him in the secret places of our hearts. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is right in your eyes. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Here's the collect for this week, uh, the second Sunday before Advent. Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son was revealed to destroy the works of the devil, and to make us the children of God and heirs of eternal life, 
Grant that we, having this hope, may purify ourselves, even as he is pure. That when he shall appear in power and great glory, we shall be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me in praying the Lord's Prayer. Uh, the prayer which Jesus taught his first disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may God's peace which passes understanding be with us today. <laughs> may the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.